Waverley Council have had to respond to the guidelines set out by the government to combat the shortfall for affordable housing. The borough would like to have built around 3,500 new homes by 2015. I spoke to some people in Farnham who thought this would help those who struggle with the high cost of living. Hopefully with the more houses it will bring house prices down or rent prices down so that it would be more affordable. For um, I think Farnham is a lot of green areas, probably a bit too much so I think the extra housing will actually be kind of beneficial especially towards the students. Mr Graham from Waverley Council said that they aim to build on average 230 new homes each year. He also specified Farnham as a target for these developments. Many are concerned with how this will affect the beauty of the town. Well, I think if possible, if they could use up land that's been demolished or not used for, for things first, before they have to consider green land, I'm not really happy about going into the green bank. I think it is a ridiculous and disgusting idea because there's as little green as there is. It kind of ruins the whole kind of... That ruins the whole landscape and the environment and basically. The other concern is that Farnham Town Centre simply won't be able to cope with the additional population, as Russell Reeve from Farnham Town Council explains. We need investment in infrastructure. Our schools are already overcrowded. Okay. Our roads are in a really desperate position. Um, mm. And uh, a lot of our other infrastructure is woefully inadequate. So it would, it would need a lot of investment. If that number of houses came to Farnham, there is a very real likelihood that it might spoil what it is that people actually like about mm. Farnham as a place to live. Yeah. Waverley Council may have a fight in their hands if they really want to push these plans through. Farnham residents and councillors alike seem to be of the mind that Waverley are simply trying to match statistics rather than actually thinking about their residents. Andrew McNair, UCA News.